Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Optimism is in the air once again regarding the repair of the Olympic size GC Foster College pool, which has been dormant for years. Denzel Wilkes, a general manager of the Sports Development Foundation, is feeling different about the repair of the pool this time around, but he is being careful not to count his chickens before they are hatched. They do engage in many things that involve the use of a pool and they now have to be outsourcing that right. or have had to be outsourcing that for the longest while. Mm. So I can say that I am aware that things are in the works and um, not a lot has been said as yet because everybody is aware of how many times things have been said and nothing has materialized. But I feel very positive that in the not too distant future, we will hear positive words. Wilkes, who was speaking on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill, also outlined that the dormancy of the GC Foster Pool has brought back into the spotlight the National Stadium Pool being overused. I can say that the new pumps are being installed as we speak, mm -hmm. and that has cost us a pretty penny. So a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's not just Swallow Field and the, the surrounding areas, but the entire metropolitan area flocks to the stadium pool. Yes, and yes. from a national perspective, we need some more facilities. And that is one that when it is located in an institution like GC Foster College that just must of necessity redound to the benefit of the nation. Some football news now. Former national under-23 coach Donovan Dukey was spotted at the Norman Manley International Airport recently following the completion of his CONCACAF A license coaching badge in Trinidad and Tobago. Dukey, who is also at the reins at Montague Bay United, says that the certification gives him an opportunity to coach at the highest level. What the, the difference with these lights and the other ones is the, how we organize off the field, building relationship with players, identifying their flaws, improving them individually to improve the team. So everything in Jamaica, we are to know that we must win, but it is not the doubler that is important. It is the pathway that will lead us to the outcome. So these courses help us to organize better. But despite failing with the national under-23 team after they failed to get past the first round of a Caribbean qualification, the experienced Duki still has ambitions of coaching at the national level. If I have to represent my country again, I would have to do that because we are patriotic and everything to do with our country, once we are called upon, we are ready. And further afield now, Manchester, Manchester City footballer Benjamin Mendy has been found not guilty of six counts of rape and one count of sexual assault against four young women. The jury fails to reach verdicts on one count of rape and one of attempted rape and a retrial will take place. Louis Saha Maturi was also found not guilty of three counts of rape against two teenagers. Jurors at Chester, court, Chester Crown Court could not reach verdicts on six other counts by five, by, by five other women. 28-year-old Mendy and his friend Maturi had been accused of raping women at the player's home. Both men had been on trial since August 10, 2022 and were accused by 13 women of multiple sexual offenses. Mendy was first arrested in November 2020 and was suspended by his club in August 2021 after he was charged with rape. The prosecution has sought a retrial on the two counts the jury fails to reach a verdict on and it has been scheduled for June 26. Maturi also faces a retrial with a trial date set for September. And that's where we leave the courts for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.